everyone. I'm Liz Burrell and welcome to the Big Green Egg Grilling Show. Each week it's our goal to inspire new ideas for grilling, smoking, roasting or baking as well as tips, tricks and of course great cooking segments. During each show we'll introduce you to new Big Green Egg accessories and how best to use them and we'll answer questions sent to various social media channels by our fans and questions sent to mailbag at biggreenegg.com. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's get to some of those mailbag questions sent to us this week. So our first question is Alex from Fort Worth. I'm having trouble getting a good bark on my brisket. What's the secret? So there are multiple ways that you can get a really good bark on your brisket. My personal favorite, I like to go ahead and smoke my brisket until it hits about 165 if it stalls. If it doesn't stall, I get it up to 185. And every hour or so, I go in and I spray my brisket with about one part apple cider vinegar to three parts water. So about one fourth uh, apple cider vinegar and then the rest water. So I spray that down on all sides and then I let it continue cooking for another hour. I do that again. And then once it hits 185 degrees, like I said, if it doesn't stall, then I wrap my brisket very, very, very tightly with aluminum foil or butcher's paper. So you want to make sure that it's very tight because you don't want any air inside of that package. Otherwise, your bark will start to come off. It's almost like steaming it. So wrap it very tightly and then let it cook to 205 and you're going to have the most perfect dark bark on your brisket. Now, the bark comes from your seasoning and how much seasoning you have on it. You want to make sure that you've got a really, really coarse seasoning and stuck very, very well to your brisket. Now, I have my second question is Shane from St. Simons. I want to make veg vegetable kebabs. How do I make them pop with extra flavor? So great question because we're actually doing some veggie kebabs today. Now there are a couple ways that you can make them pop. Um, today we're going to be tossing all our vegetables. I've got bell peppers, onions, and portobello mushrooms in olive oil and then we're going to season with our citrus and herb seasoning. That's one way. You can also marinate your vegetables overnight in an Italian dressing. You could do, you know, soy sauce and garlic and olive oil, whatever you want. Or you can top with a sauce. Like our chimichurri today, you could top your vegetables after you season them with salt and olive oil and cook them with a chimichurri. So that is our mailbag questions for today. Let's move on to our recipe. So today's recipe, I'm going to be doing a spiral tenderloin stuffed with my very special chimichurri sauce. Our setup on our egg today is going to be 400 degrees with our expander basket, one side indirect and one side direct. We are going to actually roast our spiral tenderloin for about 35 to 40 minutes until it hits an internal temperature of 125, 130 degrees, and then we're going to sear it on the direct side. We're also going to be doing our citrus and herb veggie skewers on the direct side. So as far as our recipe goes today for our chimichurri sauce, we're going to be using one bunch of parsley, three bunches of cilantro, two tablespoons of oregano, one fourth of a cup of minced red onion, three teaspoons of garlic, one tablespoon of kosher salt or more to taste if needed, juice from one lime, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, and a cup and a half of extra virgin olive oil. Now you're going to put all of this into a blender and pulse until you get a texture like this. You want almost kind of a paste. If you want it more leafy, that's up to you. That's fine. Now for our tenderloin, we're going to do one uh, tenderloin that's been trimmed. It's going to be, the whole thing is going to be about three pounds, but you're going to have to trim it down to get this piece of meat, or you can ask for it already trimmed at your butcher. We're using extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, big green egg, ancho, chili and coffee seasoning, and then we're going to be spreading our chimichurri. I'd say maybe about a cup, but it just kind of depends on how much uh, chimichurri you want. For our veggie skewers, we're going to be using two orange bell peppers, two red bell peppers, one yellow onion, two portobello mushrooms, the large ones, cut into six pieces each, 
extra virgin olive oil, a little salt, a little pepper, and our big green egg citrus and herb seasoning. So let's go ahead and get started on our spiral tenderloin here. Now you can see it's beautiful. Um, it's got a little bit of marbling on the back, but tenderloin is not really the fattiest piece of meat, which makes it kind of perfect for this. Now we're gonna look at it and find the best spot to start cutting in because we're gonna roll it out. Now you wanna make very, very, very small cuts with this because you don't wanna cut all the way down into the bottom. And then we're gonna need some butcher's twine to tress this so that it stays together while we're cooking. So let's go ahead and start making a little cut here. We're looking for about a half of an inch. And you're just gonna to wanna to run your fingers kind of through it as you go, pulling it away from the other side of the meat. And just make sure it all stays about the same size. Now we are going to pound this down a little bit to make sure that everything is flat. Gonna rotate here a little bit. So we're just cut, making very, very small cuts and pulling back as we go. Now you may be asking, why would you wanna do this to a beautiful tenderloin. Well, it's just something extra to do and something fun. You know, I've done this with pork too, and it's just, you know, it doesn't ruin the meat. In fact, it, it gives it just a little extra pop. And then you don't need to really put any kind of sauce on the top, which is great. All right, so you can see that we have our beautiful flat uh, tenderloin here. I'm gonna take this saran wrap and put it on top. And then we're gonna take our weight here and we are going to pound it out to its flat. And don't do this too hard. You're not trying to ruin the meat. You're just trying to make sure that everything is about the same width. Because we want an even kind of playing field for this chimichurri here. Perfect. You can see that everything is about the same width now and it made the piece of meat a little bit uh, bigger for our chimichurri. And now we are going to take some of our beautiful green chimichurri. And we wanna leave about an inch on each side because when we roll it up, it is gonna spread a little bit. Now it doesn't matter if it kinda of falls out the sides, but we wanna to try to keep all the flavor inside the tenderloin. All right, now we are going to start to roll it up. And like I said, some of it may come out, that's fine. Just clean it up. Beautiful. Now we are going to start trussing our tenderloin. Now I've got my butcher's twine here and we're just gonna go down on the end first because I wanna make sure that it's tight. I'm gonna tie it pretty tight because we wanna make sure that this does not fall apart while we're cooking. Now there are multiple different ways to truss. You don't have to do it like me. There's multiple other techniques this is the one that I find to be the easiest for me. Now we're also going to trim our butcher's twine at the end because you don't want any loose string hanging off. And of course, after we are done cooking, we're going to cut this off and our beautiful little spiral tenderloin roast here is going to stay in the shape that we put it in. And go ahead and trim some of this extra string off. All right, and we are almost finished. After this one, we're gonna put the last one on, and then we're going to clean it up a little bit with a paper towel. 
And we are going to season the outside with a little bit of salt and our ancho chili and coffee seasoning. And this is a little bit messy, but you know what? All the good things are messy. So now let's just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Grab our ancho chili coffee seasoning, a little bit of salt here, and some black pepper. A season with some kosher salt first. Make sure that all of those really good flavors come out. Now the chimichurri has salt in it, so you don't want to over salt. Then your meat's going to be really, really salty. And hit it with some black pepper. And then our ancho chili and coffee seasoning. Now make sure that you season all sides so we get even flavor. Beautiful. That is just going to be delectable. All right, so now let's go ahead and put it on our egg. And remember, we're doing this on the indirect side. Beautiful sizzling sound there. And we're going to let this cook for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the internal, te internal temperature hits 130, 125 degrees. And then we're going to take it to the direct side and we're going to sear it so that we get a nice crust on the outside of our spiral tenderloin. And now let's get into our tips from the experts today. Today we are going to be talking about our professional grade meat claws by Big Green Egg. Now, these are pretty cool. There's a lot of things that you can do with these. Mainly, you know, people think about, oh, I can, I can shred my pork butt with it. You can do it to brisket. You can use it to shred chicken, any kind of meat, or even, you know, those mushrooms that I did a couple weeks ago. You could use these for that. But you can also use them as a grip to pick up larger pieces of meat instead of doing it with your gloved hand. So highly recommend these. If you don't have them, make sure that you have these in your kitchen. Now let's go ahead and move on to our veggie skewers for today. We have our bell peppers here, our onions, and our portobello mushrooms. Now I love the large portobello mushrooms. You could use baby bella if you want, and feel free to add any other vegetables to this that you might be interested in. We're just gonna dump this whole thing into our bowl here. And we are going to use olive oil. A good amount. And we are going to season with some salt a little bit of pepper and our citrus and herb seasoning. Mmm, smells so good. And this really gives a lot of flavor to your vegetables. And then we're just going to toss. Now as you go, you're probably going to need a little bit more olive oil. We're doing this because we want to make sure that our vegetables don't burn while they are grilling. Now we're using our Big Green Egg bamboo skewers today. They have been soaking in water for about 30 minutes. And we do that also so that our skewers don't burn. And we're losing some vegetables here already. Awesome. Make sure everything is nice and coated with some seasoning here. All right, so we're going to pull out our skewers here that have been soaking. Pull up our plate, and then we're just going to arrange these any way you want to, really. I like to start with onion and then go to mushroom and then bell pepper because the mushroom is going to pick up all of the flavors from that onion and the bell pepper. And I, I mean, we've got yellow and red bell pepper here and that's mainly just because I wanted some color. And like I said, you can do any combination of veggies that you want. So there we go. We've got our finished veggie skewers and now 
We are going to put them on our direct side. They're going to take probably about 15 minutes to cook. We're going to check on our meat. Let's give it a little internal temp check. It smells fabulous. And we're still very low. We're about at 90, 90 degrees. So let's put our skewers on here. Perfect. How beautiful. So we're going to let this cook for a little bit and we will be back. All right, so it is time to take our skewers off here and remember to wear your egg mitts please these are looking great smell delicious and then we are going to take our roast here and move it onto the other side of our grill to sear now we're going to leave that for a minute or two and then we're going to roll it and do every single side so we make sure that the entire thing is seared evenly. And then we're going to let it rest for 10 minutes as usual, just like any other meat, and we're going to slice into it and see how that beautiful spiral design turned out. All right, so our beautiful spiral tenderloin has been resting for about 10 minutes, so let's get in here and pull our little strings off. We're just going to cut them and pull gently because you don't want to ruin this beautiful roast that you work so hard on. All right, now let's go ahead and give it a slice and see what we've got. Oh, how perfect and beautiful is that and it's so pretty got some good juices coming now we're gonna cut about an inch thick slices here beautiful and it smells amazing so let's pick a couple pieces of this and we're gonna put it on our plate here I say let's do three, and then we're going to take some of our veggie skewers, put it on the plate there, and there you have it. So that is my chimichurri stuffed tenderloin and citrus and herb seasoned veggie kebabs. I hope that I've inspired you to try something new and different on your egg today. And if you're not an egger yet, please head to biggreenegg.com where you can get online home delivery from a dealer in your own community. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Liz Burrell and tune in next time when I've got something special in store for you. There's a place where fire and flavor are celebrated. Grill it, roast it, smoke it, or bake it. It's the most versatile grill you'll ever own. Have it delivered to your door by a certified dealer in your community and start enjoying the ultimate cooking experience. Visit BigGreenEgg.com.